In this math example, we're going to find the area of a square. And we're going to be giving a couple of different examples depending on the values that were provided. So in the first example, we're going to have a square and we're giving at least one of the sides is equal to three centimeters. So in this case, we're going to use the A equals S square or side square as our formula to find it. We're going ahead and plug in our number is A equals three centimeters squared. And by doing that, essentially you're saying three times three, and you're also saying centimeters times centimeters. So then our answer is going to be nine centimeters square for this particular answer. That's how we're going to do the first one. The second one, we're provided the diameter. We'll cross as a five centimeters. So in this case, what we'll do is we're going to use the formula a is equal to d squared over 2. And this is the formula that we're going to be using. And again, we're just going to put in our values accordingly. So here it's going to be 5 centimeters squared over 2. So again, similar as before, 5 times 5 is going to be 25 centimeters times centimeter is going to be centimeter squared. And we still have to divide it by 2. So 25 divided by 2 is going to give us 12.5 centimeters square. And that's going to be our second answer as far as the area is concerned. Our last one is going to be giving us a perimeter. This one has a perimeter of 20 centimeters. Here we're going to use a yet a different formula. And that is going to be the perimeter divided by 4. So let's go ahead and put in our 20 centimeters divided by 4. And that's going to be 5 centimeters. But we're not done yet. This only provides us one of the four sides as far as the length. We still have to find the area, and if you recall the first one is area equals S squared. Now that we have an actual side here, we can use this 5 centimeters squared. 5 times 5 is 25 centimeters squared. So here's our answer for this one. So again, based upon what is provided to us, that's how we're going to end up knowing which formula to use and how we're going to apply those values within. Hope that helps.